Hi, this is Rob Hawley from the Fremont Peak Observatory. In 2017, I produced a series of lectures for the local astronomy community and converted those into accompanying videos. It's now 2024, so I'd like to take this opportunity to bring these up to date. As I record this in January of 24, we all anticipate the moon shadow once again crossing the U.S. on April 8th. Of course, that will not be the last total eclipse to occur. After skipping 2025, total eclipses will also occur in 2026, 2027, 2028, and on into the future, as well as numerous annular and partial eclipses. This series will help you take photos of those events that you'll be proud of. But first, a little of who I am. I've traveled the world looking at eclipses. This map shows all of the eclipses that I've seen. Every one of those red stars is a place where I've seen an eclipse. And I'm generally regarded as having taken some good pictures over the years, partially by bitter experience of things that I will tell you about what not to do. But first I want to introduce you to some eclipse terminology. The portions of an eclipse are referred to as contacts. C1 is when the moon is just touching the sun. C2 is the period where the moon starts to fully cover the sun. C3 is the period where the moon exposes the sun, and C4 is the end of the eclipse. Bailey's beads are a phenomenon that occurs during C2 and C3 when the mountains of the moon and the valleys of the moon block or expose the surface of the sun. And a diamond ring is something that occurs at C2 and C3 during the time of Bailey's beads. Here are a list of chapters in the series. Note portions of these videos were recorded earlier, and where information has not changed, I've not updated them. Thus, you may see some references to the past as future events.